What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about skincare. You know, there's been quite a lot of makeup talk on the channel lately and I love skincare. Skincare, she's an OG. I love her very much. She deserves more attention. So today we're going to give some of the spotlight to her. I'm starting a new skincare series called Facts by Nats where I do videos where I cover everything from like very specific ingredient leveled videos to product categories to how to do routines etc and i want to start it off by talking about my absolute favorite ingredient the ingredient that got me into skincare it single-handedly got rid of all the bumps that i had on my forehead and throughout my cheeks and it is no other than baj aka salicylic acid except for spilling all the details and everything that I learned about this ingredient throughout years of using it, I will also answer some questions. And those are, what is BHA? Do I need it in my routine? How often do I use it and where do I put it in my routine? How long does it take until I start seeing results? How do I adjust the rest of my routine when I introduce it? Does it clash with any other ingredient? And does it have any negative side effects? And in honor of today's ingredient, I am only wearing my Paula's Choice 2% liquid BAJ on my skin. Well, I kind of like because I am wearing soap brows and a little bit of lip gloss, but on my skin, I'm only wearing the Paula's Choice 2% liquid BAJ. Um, I want to give you a little bit of a close-up so that you can see um, because I regularly get compliments. You guys are saying, oh, you have perfect skin, it's flawless, blah, blah, blah. And even though I have great skin and I realize that I'm very blessed, I don't have a skin without flaws. I have some old dark spots going on right here on my cheek area. This is usually where I break out. I also have a little bit of pigmentation going on. You can see like there's two or three spots here that kind of look like freckles, but they're not. <laughs> they are very much the result of going out in the sun, tanning and not wearing SPF, mm -hmm. but it is what it is. I also have sebaceous filament on my nose like everybody else. You know, those little black dots that people think are blackheads. Um, I have my, <laughs> my mustache is very much going out. I have a little bit of like uneven skin tone right here. I wanted to quickly show you that because a lot of us, including me, are looking at these YouTube videos of makeup and skincare because we strive to have the most perfect skin, but skin still needs to be skin. So skin is still enlarged pores. Skin is still facial hair. Skin is still all those things that we have that only maybe we see on ourselves up close, but everybody has it. So don't don't have unrealistic expectations of yourself. Okay, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Natasha and I want my channels to be a space where we take an as realistic and true but also fun approach to beauty. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, subscription is free, just saying. And also for all the small channels, including mine that you follow, engagement is everything to us. If you like the video, you can give it a like, you can send a question away, mm -hmm. or you can just send a little cute emoji, you know, anything goes. I also have an Instagram channel if you hang a lot on there too, where I just mainly talk a lot of shit on stories and I try to entertain you guys. So if you, if you like the idea of that, you're welcome to join there too. So first question, what is BHA? BHA, or also called salicylic acid, is a chemical exfoliant. There are physical exfoliants like face scrubs, those face brushes, uh, Clarisonics, anything that you physically exfoliate your skin with is a physical exfoliant. BHA is a chemical exfoliant. And what basically happens is that when you apply it to your skin, there's a chemical reaction that speeds up the cell turnover in your skin, aka it gets rid of those old, dead skin cells and up to the surface come the new youthful fresh ones. BHA is just one type of chemical exfoliant. There are several different ones. There are also AHAs, PHAs, enzymes. Help me out if there are any more. I can't remember any more at the top of my head. Anyways, they are all there to help you solve different things. They all target different skin issues. So BHA is the smallest molecule out of all of them and it is also an oil soluble, meaning that it can penetrate into the deeper layers of your skin. It goes all the way down into the pore and it unclogs the sebum and the dirt that is there and that is basically clogging up the pore, causing the either whitehead, blackhead or 
active breakout. So this makes it a great acne fighter because it can really get deep down into that pore and clean it out. So BAJ also helps with blackheads, which are open comedones, and then it also helps with whiteheads, which are closed comedones. And since it's a closed comedone, it is a lot more stubborn and takes a lot more time for it to go away with the help of BAJ. So for the next question, do I need it in my routine? And this is kind of a tricky one because the Polish Choice 2% BAJ, it became a cult product a couple of years ago. And I've had quite a lot of girls DM me on Instagram saying, I don't understand, I don't understand what the whole thing is with BAJ. Like, I thought it was this miracle product and it did nothing for my skin. So, if you're looking to jump on the express train to glow, no. BAJ is not your best friend. In that case, you want to look for a more surface exfoliating acid, an AAJ, and I will make a completely separate video about that. I would say the BAJ is a great ingredient for you if you're experiencing mild to moderate acne. If you have severe acne, you need to go and see a professional. Save your coins, don't put them towards shit on the internet and go and visit a dermatologist. That's what you need to do. Anyways, so if you're experiencing mild to moderate acne or if you're having issues with blackheads or whiteheads, uh, whiteheads are my main issue. It's not active acne, but it's still a form of acne. So one very important <coughs> fact, and I cannot stress this enough, and this was something that was very unclear to me for years, is the difference between whiteheads and blackheads and enlarged pores. Now, for me, I can for a fact say that BAJ has helped me with the treatment of whiteheads and blackheads. Has it helped me with the treatment of enlarged pores? Not personally, because I don't have that issue in my skin. I have a few, but everybody has a few. The thing is that the size of your pores is determined by a bunch of factors that we can't really control. It is skin type. Usually the oilier ones have more enlarged pores. Um, it also has with genetics to do. It also has to do with uh, sun damage. So with age, we all get more enlarged pores. I have read that some people say that a good cleansing routine together with BAJ has helped shrink their pores. I haven't experienced it myself, but however, I do want to manage your expectations because it's not like an overnight thing to do. It, it's more, it's more complicated than that. Next question, how often should I use it? This is highly individual and it of course depends on your skin type, how fast you want to see results, what the rest of your routine looks like. But when I started using it, which was, 10 years ago? I don't know, it was so many years ago. I wanted to see results fast, so I used it twice a day. However, it depends on, as I said, what you have in the rest of your routine. If you have a lot of other exfoliants, like AJs or like, I don't know, whatever else. My number one tip with introducing it to your routine is starting out slowly. Start with once or twice a week, just to see if your skin reacts to it, because I do have a couple of friends and their skin does not like BAJ. It makes them break out. Um, some people are not sensitive at all. It's not a harsh, um, ingredient, I would say it's it's out of all the acids, it's probably the most gentle ones. Some people are just not tolerant towards it. So proceed with caution. So where to put it in your routine? First of all, I would put it in my PM routine. Um, even though, as I said, BAJ is a very mild form of exfoliant, and some people say that it does make you more sun sensitive. Some people say that you don't. I use it in my PM routine. I don't want to take any risks. I don't know about you. So in my PM routine, I like to have a specific step for my exfoliants. Um, so I don't put it in like my serums or my uh, night cream. I put it after cleansing. So I cleanse my face, then I do my exfoliant, and then I do a hydrating toner or a serum. If you're sensitive or if you really want to start out slowly, you could do it the other way around. So you still do your cleanser first, then you do your hydrating toner or serum and then you do your exfoliant. This way you will buffer the product out, meaning it will dilute a little bit and go easier on your skin. I let my BAJ sink in for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is the only step that I let sink in because it isn't active, so I want to let it do its job before I move on and go to the next product. That's also one of the reasons to why I do it a lot less frequently now because I just don't have the patience to wait 10 to 15 minutes every night for my BAJ to sink in, especially not every morning. Let's not even get into that. Next question is, does it clash with anything else? As far as I know, it doesn't really clash with anything in the sense of that it would like 
cancel anything else out. For example, I think vitamin C and isinamide, they kind of cancel each other out, so you should never include both in your routine. Or is that a myth? I don't know, maybe that was a myth. Anyways, it doesn't get canceled out or cancels out any other ingredient. I, however, would not use BHA if I have either retinoids in my PM routine or benzoyl peroxide. The reason why I wouldn't combine them is because they're all chemical exfoliants, so it would just be too harsh on your skin to use two of them. Okay, next question. How long does it take for you to see results? Okay, so some people say that they see results overnight with BHA. I wouldn't say that with like breakouts and texture, I see results overnight. Now, as I said, BHA is a exfoliant that goes deep into the pores, so it's not really a surface exfoliating acid, but it does mildly exfoliate the surface of your skin as well. So I don't know if that's what people see, that it kind of like smooths it out a little bit because it is a tiny bit surface exfoliating. Two of the most important things, if you ask me when it comes to BHA, is consistency and patience. Since this ingredient is working deep down in your pores, it takes time to see results. So to see a real difference in amounts of breakouts, amounts of whiteheads, amounts of blackheads, I would say a solid two to four weeks. Just think of it as shedding your skin. I think that a cell turnover takes anywhere in between four to eight weeks. And since yes, the exfoliant does speed that up, but still I would say at least two to weeks to see some results and then four to six weeks to see results, if you know what I'm saying. Next question is, does it have any negative side effects? I haven't personally experienced any, but I on the other hand have basically only tried the Polish Choice 2% BHA, so I don't know if there are side effects with other formulations, but I have read and I have heard that some people get a little bit dehydrated and drier, um, so that is a potential, I guess. Some people do start purging when they use an acid exfoliant, and purging explained very simplified is that your skin is cleansing out all the uh, dirt that is in those deeper skin layers, it's cleansing them out and they come out and forms up breakouts. And the last question is, how do I adjust the rest of my routine when I start using BHA? Now, because I have read that some people do become a little bit dehydrated and dry, I would say if you don't have one, get a hydrating toner and pat it in after you use your BHA. That will help put hydration back into your skin and just use a nice occlusive night cream to just pack it all in and make sure that that hydration doesn't seep right back out into the air and leaving your skin dehydrated once again. The second thing is use sunscreen always in your AM routine, no matter if you have a BAG or not, but especially if you have an acid exfoliant in either your AM or PM routine. And so the last thing is what are my favorite BAGs? And I... <laughs> I'm actually a very bad person to ask. I'm the wrong person to ask because I've basically only used my Paula's Choice 2% Liquid BHA. I haven't even tried the other formulas because I think that there's like a gel and a moisturizer as well with BHA in it. Um, I haven't tried those. The only other BHA that I have tried is the, the Ordinary Salicylic Acid and I did not like that. I used it for like a month. It did nothing for my skin. I do, however, think that they have a travel size in this one. So if you want to try it out before buying the full size, I think that they have like a very, very small bottle of this. Check it out. All right, you guys, I think that that was it for my first facts by Nats video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you could help me come up with my next video topic, I was thinking about doing a video like this, but for AJs instead. So if that sounds interesting, Put it down below in the comments or if there's any other ingredient or any other product type do you want me to talk about toners or serums or like a combination of something or like let me know what you want to hear let me know so that's it for today thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope that this was helpful and that you learned something and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye